Sod chat. I don't know if you saw the. Uh, you you guys are talking a lot of shit about Odin. I don't know if you want to do that. He's kind of a fucking badass. If you didn't see the irrational hatred shit. Uh, Ralph, can I just defend myself from the slander that was in your fucking uh, stream about thirty minutes ago? Uh, if you I, like, I, I, mean... I am not responsible for Monday and Matt. You can't lay that at my fucking feet. This guy's been around <laughs> since two thousand and nine. You can't dump that responsibility on me for creating this fuck. He has a long history. I was. Have you seen these videos before tonight? No, no I, I, I've, I've never seen them. No. Yeah, oh. I, I hadn't either. But yeah. Wait, what is this Boulder thing? Did he really post that? Yes. yes. Oh, the Boulder yes. shit. Oh yeah. God, Ralph. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> way. I just, pulled, I just pulled that up on stream because you know on on the stream earlier on he, he tried to say he was out moving boulders, um, and uh, here here's the link. He posted this in his Discord. A picture of of the boulders. By the way, those don't quite look like boulders. <laughs> They're fucking yeah. rocks. It looks like his own unmarked grave. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, um, but that that was what he posted in in the Discord there. Uh, of course, people are are stalking his Discord now. Um, he's just he's a broken man. Uh, yeah, I saw screen caps from like five minutes ago. They're talking about what you're talking about right now. W what are they saying? Matt's like, oh, that's an old account, and oh, I'm not trying to hide it or anything. And Matt, why don't you just come on stream again? I mean, yeah, people are, can you get him back on? Because I honestly have no beef with him. I, I want to talk to him. I want to know what he, I want to, Matt, if you're listening right now, I want to know your headspace at this current moment. Yeah, I mean, what, what, honestly, what do you have to lose at this point? I, I, I don't think it would hurt. Actually, I think it might, you know, buy you some. I don't know if sympathy. Somebody or... in the chat said, "Tell Kim about the porn." What? What's the porn? Oh, the rule thirty-four. Why don't I let you tell him about it, Jim? Yeah. So uh, Matt was looking up. Uh, people were grabbing screen caps and shit from his Discord and his Discord history, and he was looking up porn of like uh, Sargon of Akkad and Anita Sarkeesian and um, oh, what was the other? A shoe on head. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah. He was looking, yes, he was, he was and looking you. Porn. And you. You know, no, I've already had I've already had one no, dude looking leave, for outlines. So let's not bring up. Don't another. leave that. Don't leave that part out, though. I mean, you were on the list as well, right? And Glenn Beck. <laughs> for that, some can't, that can't be true. Is this true? Swear. Yes. Swear on everything. I, I know the first four are true. I don't know about the Glenn Beck one. Oh, oh my god! Link. What the actual fuck? I'm pretty sure. And I wouldn't be surprised about Rachel Maddow either. He apparently he's got a what's boner the, for her. What's the Maddow thing. <laughs> All right, hold on. Actually, I I know you retweeted. Dongwave was the guy who came on here last night and uh, kind of yeah. Fuck Ralph. Do you, do you think you can get him on? Like, remember during should that I stream? Should the link? Do you think he'll leak it or should I just send it? To well, him? no. I mean, because here's the thing: when when he was on that stream and he got exposed, he he admitted that he got really fucked up when people shit talked to him. He's like, that really gets under my skin. So I know for a fact he's, he's watching listening it. to this yeah. right now. Yeah. Should I just send it to him? Yeah, said it to him. Whenever. Dude, I'm I'm petty like that though. If someone's talking about me, like I'm instantly listening to. So like, <laughs> I, I, Matt, we're on the same page there. Just jump in the stream. All right, I sent it to him. So if it gets leaked, this uh, is look. a good headspace, Matt. You'll feel comfortable here. He has the link. I just sent it to him in DMs, Matt. I know you're listening, so um, just just jump on in if you want. Uh, but yeah, here's the dong wave thread. I'll put this in the. In the side chat, and maybe he has an ex, you know, a, a reasoning for this. Maybe he could say he's just joking around or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but uh... Uh, by the way, Medicare, I saw the video with you ripping apart uh, Kurt, Kurt or whatever his name is. Are you talking Kraut. about Eichenwald or oh, Kraut. Kraut? Oh yeah, Kraut, Kraut, Kraut yeah. yeah. So I, I barely knew who Kraut was, um, and I think I knew who he was through. Um, I don't know. I'm messing up all these names, but anyhow, I I barely knew who he was, and I I remember thinking like, oh, that's a really intelligent guy, and then I just saw I watched one, two, three, and four of your series, and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, he's back now. I mean, yeah, he was he was shit talking. Uh, yeah. He was shit talking Ralph and Matt uh, for his triumphant fucking return. Yeah. Yeah, I asked Ralph. I was like, wait a minute, like. You know, wh why does everyone not like him? And then he linked me your series. <laughs> <laughs> the the four part epic. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. He keeps Man, saying the, he's gonna the, come the, back, the, but yeah, the skeptic uh, the skeptic sphere of uh, YouTube is fucking falling apart. First crowd, now Matt. Well, Harmful's coming so, back. Yeah. 
they're so corny. Like that whole thing that they did in the Discord and like how they were writing out like their ops and stuff. Like that shit was so over the top, like corny. I don't know how anyone could play along with that. Like I would just, I would lose my mind. Calling each other researchers and scientists and shit. Yeah, it was the so gayest cool. fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah, honestly. I mean, just no nobody with a level head would be able to like, by the way, how did you get all the recordings and stuff? Did somebody leak them? Yeah, people from their Discord were leaking them. Uh, there were two people that dropped a bunch of stuff, and then other people in their Discord started putting up, like, um, uh, vocaroos and stuff, just recordings of conversations that were... I, I left some shit out. Um, I, you know what I should... Fuck, you know what I forgot to include? Was Kraut was really pissed... And now I know why he commented on Matt. Fuck. Um, he was really pissed off. He wanted to hunt down this pedophile who was an admin for Drunken Peasants on their Discord, and this guy is now the admin for Matt's Discord. Matt knows about this and doesn't care. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he's Dude, a legit pedophile. Yeah, go when ahead. he split, when oh, he told the story alleged, about splitting alleged, his yeah. dick <laughs> with the chainsaw, <laughs> I was dying. Yeah, his fucking post on that forum. Yeah, it, it, it's like three or four different stories about what happened to his dick. <laughs> uh, how his dick was injured and split in half. Chainsaws, punches, and kicks. <laughs> so much fucking injury. It's gotta be. Done. It's it's gotta be like a fantasy, right? Like you know, some people have fantasies of like being injured in the dick, right? Like it's. I feel like it's that, dude. I, you know, it, well, there was this story about, and I couldn't confirm this, I didn't include it, but there was a story about him kidnapping some girl, so maybe there's some kinky BDSM shit going on I don't know about. I heard about that. Um, put her in the trunk or something. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I swear, you heard that, right? <laughs> yeah, I heard about it too. No. Yeah. I know, I heard like, some chick hooked up with him and like he, he no. refused to bring her home. I didn't know he kept maybe, her in the trunk. Maybe my version was, was further out there, but yeah, I've heard some things about that. Oh. Uh. I, don't know. I, I sent Matt the link, by the way, so we'll see if he can. My favorite part of the whole series is when the guy exposed him for the fake accent where he was like trying to sound like like he went to like boarding school or some shit. Like that's fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, the the proper English the dialect or whatever the fuck it was. Received, yeah, yeah. As an American, we can't it's hard for us to tell like, you know, that that someone's doing that, you know? So I thought that was funny. Yeah, now watching, uh, yeah, crowd, Matt's kind of going through something similar right now. I mean, like, crowd got ripped apart by a shit ton of people when that happened. And Matt, like, it's, I've been watching videos all day on Matt. Like, everybody's been putting him up. Everybody. Like, I mean, Matt, Matt flags some people, right? But, like, the shit that crowd was doing is just, like, unforgivable. Like, that shit was, like, insane. Yeah, no, he was on the warpath. Like he, he had a fucking. Uh, well, they had a target list. They, they read their, their hit list. They renamed <laughs> of YouTubers that angered them so much they needed to fucking pull ops on them and shit. So, who do you think's worse, Jim, Matt, or or Kraut? Um, I, I mean, it's the thing with Kraut and the reason like the first three videos focused on the Discord shit so much was because I found the the op stuff so fucking funny. Like, it's weird to think that there's a group of, like, 40 people sitting together plotting revenge against fucking YouTubers that make them angry. <laughs> uh, so that that was more amusing to me. Like, Matt just seems like, I don't know what's going on with Matt. Like, he's just really fucking angry and can't take banter. I feel irrational, like... You might even call it irrational hatred, Jim. That, that might oh, tie it back in, yeah. <laughs> yes. Go I, feel like, I feel like uh, Matt's harmless, though. You know what I mean? Like... Is there any damage other than flagging a video and potentially taking it down? Is there any damage that Matt can really do to anyone? Well, no, it, it, like the thing that he was the way he was fucking with people, though, is like Worski was primarily a streaming channel. And so he made his revenue through streaming through Super Chats and same with failure, same with Tonka. Like he was hitting people that once you get that strike, you're down for 90 days. You can't make a dime. Right. Uh, and, you know, like one of them I know was. Uh, pretty, from what I understand, was not in a good financial spot. So he really fucked him pretty hard. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not. I'm making no judgments. Uh, I just, uh, you know, uh, the the crowd thing was uh, fucking surreal to me, and the Matt thing. It's just I don't know what the hell's going on in his fucking head. I wonder if Matt. Okay, so the guy, the the guy that you know isn't in a good fan financial spot, right? If Matt gave that dude money, does that clear Matt's name? name like does that give him a second chance yeah didn't fucking baldwin come out and say that like baldwin was defending him and then didn't somebody told me that he had tweeted out that matt should pay he dm'd that to me i think 
Okay. All right. Yeah. So I, I mean, it sounds like that's a lot of people are saying that. I, I don't know if Matt will ever fucking do that though. Matt's I mean, not gonna pay anybody. We know for yeah, he's not gonna. <laughs> you never know. I mean, he could be riding down the road with his family and see another pile of boulders for sale, or for free. <laughs> Those super expensive fucking river rocks that are real rare down where he's living. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Who does that? Like that's his that's his defense. Instead of an apology or a video explaining his position, he posts fucking pictures of rocks and shit in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> How fucked up in the head are you? What is that? <laughs> you know it'd be even funnier if he made the whole story up, but then he realized like a couple days ago that he needed to come up with these he rocks. So he's walking rocks. around in the fucking woods, fucking looking all over for rocks, digging them up. What he's taking him home. He's fucking got soap and water on him, getting him nice and clean. Right, and his story doesn't even make sense. Like he's like, I'm out collecting boulders and shit. But then his kid's like eight months old. So how much help with his? Uh, how much help is an eighth or eight month old gonna be collecting fucking river rocks? Like holding a toddler and picking up boulders in one hand is gonna be really weird. Talk about child labor laws. What the fuck? <laughs> right. By the way, I, st I still haven't heard back from Matt. I, I would be surprised if he came on the seat. Uh, no, he did respond. He said, no, thank you. That was his Dude, response. somebody in the chat said mundane Flintstone. That shit's funny. <laughs> he looks kind of like Fred. But he, he did. I, I see the DM. He said, no, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure he's going to do what I, I thought he was going to do. He's not going to address it, and he'll probably do what most people do in this situation. After like a week or two of getting shit on, He's going to find some like minute detail or some like little weird caveat and try to argue the point on that. Like, well, you guys misunderstood this one tiny fucking insignificant detail. So you're totally fucking wrong. And that's going to be his like fucking hill to die on and shit. Yeah, Matt, like, I, I don't know. I just tuned into the stream and there's a your manifesto or whatever you were saying. People just don't admit when they're wrong. And I know you admitted that you were wrong on here. But if you if you do that. Like what he just suggested, like I, I think that's that that's just wrong. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, if you really, really want to get points back and respect back, um, there's nothing you can do because you're a fucking complete waste of space. Yeah, I, I like I said, I think just having a video out, and I know he was on the stream and he admitted he messed up or whatever, and he sent out the tweet. But just, I mean, you're a YouTuber, right? So you have to make a video about it. You make a video about everything else. Just put the video out, you know, even if you don't even believe it, just from a PR standpoint, you need to put that video out, have it where you can point to it. Um, I just don't think the ignoring it's going to work, well, especially yeah, I mean, Akeem talking his... about this community, especially it's, it's really not going to work. Akeem, well, he... God damn it. I use that word. No, his, his channel's getting fucked into the dirt. I mean, like the last five days wiped out every f amount of sub growth he had from the beginning of this year. So eight months is down the toilet from five days. And it's only getting it's only getting worse. He lost another two thousand today. Uh, I don't think so. By the way, I completely renounce my use of the word community. I've been on a war path about that word. This this corner of YouTube. How about that? This corner. So, what do you guys do? You guys think the uh, rumors going around are true? Then, like a, a lot of people are saying, he's still flagging people. Like three or four people that put videos up talking about this all got flagged pretty quickly. Yeah, I you know, think he is. I, I will say this. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't really think so i mean nobody can tell who knows okay but do you really think he's still going out flagging Dude, this all videos is, this is what i think's happening i think you know the audience now is flagging any video that talks <laughs> about matt just to get matt more shit that's what i think's happening i tend to think that that's very probable yeah but i mean who knows i mean he got a record it would probably be a good idea then for him to release a video and explain it, his position right exactly yeah. yeah but wouldn't he expect people to think that this is like some 4D chess shit you're talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't it be the if he kept doing it, no one would believe he was still doing it, right? He'd be like, no one's dumb enough to fucking do do it to start it up again after getting caught red-handed. Well, you know, he did tell us he's not a mastermind, though. The, the so. thing is, the thing is, if he is flagging videos, I mean, he's not going to one flag isn't going to take down a video. If he is behind it, he's working with a team of people. He's working well, with like at least four or five people. Well, can, can, we, can we talk about like the elephant in the room um, that he knows people that are on the, the flagger program at YouTube? Well, uh, explain that further. Ooh, from what I understand, he's good friends with Queenie Martha and Queenie Martha has some oh. kind of connection to YouTube 
related to the flagging program. Hmm. Yeah, she was actually defending the the whole trusted flagger, the YouTube heroes uh, program, and all that shit. Um, which to me is just ah, fuck that shit. But yeah, she she does have ties to it, and uh, she was going at people. You know, she was around back in the day too, with her huge uh, whale tits or whatever. Um, but yeah, she she's tried to defend that in the past, and I think I think she's actually one of the trusted flaggers. Uh, my understanding is is she's one of those people. Yeah, that's a boulder in the room. I'm sorry, Chad. You're you're, you're <laughs> correct. I should have used that. Yeah. No, I I don't know. There's there's been a lot of shit swirling around since uh since the night, so I have no idea. But it it's been a hell of a ride for a couple of days. Good videos. There's a lot of funny shit out there right now. Is that is base mama or whatever her name is? Is she still around? Yeah, she's doing a Kilroy too. So if you're interested, I'm sure she'll hook oh. you up if you want to be a speaker <laughs> for that fucking event. You're joking, right? She really is. No, yeah. they want to do it. They want to do a sequel. They it was such oh, a rousing God. fucking success of seven people in the audience. They're they're looking to do another one. Do you think but... Monday Matt's gonna anchor it again? Did <laughs> <laughs> you? Know, you uh, it, that's the most depressing footage, by the way, is his speech. Oh, there, man. there are six people in frame, and three of them are looking at their phones. They're not even watching him talk. <laughs> It's like they it's like they stumbled in the room and just needed a place to sit down and accidentally got caught on camera. So oh my like, god! Can we play coffee. that footage? I've never seen it. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, I'll, so I'll grab it for you, Ralph. Yeah, link it to me and I'll and I'll pull it up. It is. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it, some guy went and filmed all of this, uh, and they tried to throw him out because uh, they were embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, here we. Oh Jesus! Yeah, once you see this fucking thing. It's just, it's him standing in front. It's so fucking awkward. All right, uh, here you go. All right, well, let me check DMs here. Oh, I put it in side chat. It doesn't, it doesn't oh, okay, matter. Okay, it's okay, just, cool. uh, yeah, the side chat's not on the screen anyway. Um, okay. Oh, my God. Kilroy. Should I yeah. click on it, or are you going to play it on stream? I, I'm going to play it on stream, so oh, okay. if you, if you want to pull it up. I don't, I don't know I'll, if you I'll guys wait, are going to want to watch the uh, hour and 24-minute epic of Matt talking to people playing on their phones, but uh, it gives you an idea just a few <laughs> seconds worth of what the fuck's wow. going on. Look, wow. He's really <laughs> thrilling the crowd here. Look, he's talking about his book, isn't he? Well, which one, Ralph? He's written so many. No, but wait, he talks about I coach people on how to use social media. Oh my god. Look at look at the guys on the right. Look at the fat dude in the black shirt. He's looking at his phone. The dude next to him is looking at his phone. The fat guy in the white shirt in the far back looking at his phone. Nobody is paying attention to Matt during his own fucking speech. No one pays attention to him, period. But look at all those empty seats. What wouldn't you well of course this guy was, you know, trying to show how pathetic it was, but the one dude is drinking fucking a, a, a gallon of water. And the the only person paying attention is the old guy in the corner. With a cane. Wait, well, hold on. Matt's dropping some wisdom. <laughs> Odin, Odin's dropping some wisdom here. Hold on. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The old guy on the left, I, I feel like he's handicapped and he just <laughs> needs a place to sit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that actually that actually might be security. Their security for this event were two geriatric dudes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm not making that up. That was their security fund for $30,000. Those two old dudes that sat in on the fucking speeches. It was, uh, it was something. But wait, did, Matt tells you what a success it was, though, right? He was having well, fun. Well, he got he, he got fucking mad at me because I was making fun of this, and he's like, "No, Jim, there it's really packed. You just can't see all the people." Remember, I asked him to take a to panning the panorama. Shot of yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he never did that. He never yeah. did that, by the way. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It, it, I just saw it on screen. Somebody opened the back door, and light came through, and there were no <laughs> shadows of people. It was just straight light. Like, there would have been shadows of people, like, you know, in the back or something. Yeah. Oh, I bet Matt wore, like, a bulletproof vest and shit. Thinking, like, <laughs> <laughs> thinking like there was going to be a security threat for his uh, very controversial opinions. Do you, do how, would... how fucking soul-crushing must this have been for him? Like, this is his big oh. moment to shine at a convention. He's going to be a headlining speaker. He shows up and there's nobody fucking there, and he's well, he, still got to give an hour and a half speech. He had to give up, get up, and do it because he got comped. You know what I mean? So they they paid his way for all this shit. I'm sure he got a fee probably for showing up too. So he had to get up there and do it. And you just you know you're sitting there about to be your turn. Oh no, speech. yeah, that was the other thing. No, no, he he didn't get a fee. Like he Wait, got what? comped and stuff. Um, remember they, they had, okay. 
Yeah, they, they said, oh, we need 10,000 or whatever to secure our headline speakers. And I remember Christina Hoff Summers was the headline speaker, like the big one. Yeah. And she's like, they only offered me like a thousand bucks. So you're saying he didn't get paid at all, but he did get comp for his trips and drinks. Yeah, they put him up in a, like a Super 8 motel or some <laughs> shit. I don't fucking know where they... He slept under a bridge. They gave him a blanket. Dude, that guy in the middle, literally with the with the weird hair or whatever, he sat down and he has not looked at Matt once. He walked in. <laughs> he looked at the guy to the right of him, pulled the chair, sit down, and now he's just on his phone. You know, they both have on the dark black shirts. I suspect that they might be part of the uh, security team there. Oh, Ralph, can you show him? God, can you show him the, the was it the Wizard of Cause or Jeff Holiday speech with the 360 camera where they're like three people in the room and they're doing the same thing? It was such yeah, a dead event. Know you know, it's weird. It's like n not one person has actually talked about, like none of you guys have talked about what Matt's speech was even about. It was that meaningless. What was the speech about? The speech is, is quite literally about Monday Matt, his career and success on YouTube and how to be a successful YouTuber. Oh my God, this Social is embarrassing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, here's the here's the Wizard of Cause uh, 360 camera. All right, here we go. I'll put it in the side chat, and then I'll. Put uh, yeah, it. and this this video, the 360 one, this is one of the more packed venues at the whole fucking event. <laughs> what is that? This Look. is uh, Wizard of Cause. Wizard of Cause is talking. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> there's like one dude. There's like one really super obese dude who's I think his mo yeah I think his mobility scooter broke and that's why he couldn't get out of the room. He's a fucking hostage. Oh my god. Kilroy was a mistake. Oh. And that same bald dude's there. He no doubt works for these people. Yeah. And they want to do another one. Yeah, this is their this is their thing. This is the skeptic con. Uh, this is the uh... <laughs> man. This is their event. That's so odd. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really see it uh, improving much. Well, we there. just can't appreciate the brilliance because what the woman that made this has an IQ of 149. <laughs> I, I don't really understand the the need to go speak in public. Like, you know, it's just easier with, you know, your YouTube channels and stuff. Like, I don't, I, there's nothing, there's no added, like, are do they do debates? So the thing is, they've seen um, Ben Shapiro do this. They've seen Milo do this. They've seen other people, you know, you've even seen Sargon try to jump on this. Right. Um, they think with, you know, conventions and, you know, public speaking, college campuses, that they'll actually be respected commentators, intellectuals, if you will, and that just by doing the videos, you can't get to that plateau, and that if they go out and talk to the plebs and, and you know, do their public presentations, that they can move up to that, that higher level, they'll be on television, and stuff well, that like was, that. Well, that, that was their biggest mistake, right? They looked at, like, a Shapiro or a, a Yiannopoulos and thought, oh, well, he's getting huge crowds, I can do that, but the difference between them and him, uh, you know, and them... Well, they have talent. Yeah, that's the... Well, no, no, it's not even just that, but like they went to the venue. They didn't think people were going to come to them. They went to people. So they'd go to a college right. campus where people already are and do their shit. Right. Like they thought right. people were going to show up in the middle of the fucking desert to listen to these YouTubers talk about shit nobody cares about for two hours. Yeah. I'll Dude, when's the next Kilroy? Maybe I'll just do a fan meet up there and tell everyone <laughs> to boo everybody on stage. Uh, it is actually April oh, 11th be... to the 14th, 2019. <laughs> Uh, I really hate that base mama bitch. Like, dude, it, so uh, it was at the beginning of Daddy 05. There were like a video came out where he like pushed the kid down and people were freaking out, like saying, you know, lock the parents up. And I was like, all he did is push the kid down. It's nothing like too serious. Like he wasn't beating him. Like it, 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 there wasn't enough proof out for me to say, okay, these parents are being abusive, right? I was like, shit, that's just roughhousing. Like, he's a boy. It's not like a little girl that he pushed down or some shit. Um, so, I don't know. Base Mama got into uh, some type of live stream that I was in, and she just went off on me saying all kinds of crazy shit. I mean, she really like fucking lost her shit and ever since then i just hated that psycho bitch so it was great to watch your series to see like you know who the fuck she really is well i said the same thing about the daddy of fobs i mean it wasn't you know uh great you know there was some definite things like 
probably wouldn't do <laughs> if I was the kid's dad, but it also wasn't like child abuse of the century. Let's Yo, shut it at, down. You know, at I mean? the beginning, it wasn't that bad. It was like one video that he pushed the kid down and some yelling and screaming. Like, but yeah. then once the video came out where the dad told the boy to smack the girl in the face, that, that that's when it was like, that oh, was shit, little, okay, yeah, yeah, that was that was uncalled for, I would say, but. The way people, I don't know, some people just want to get up and like morally grandstand and be like, shut this down. I don't know. But yeah. Well, you know, uh, Keemstar, if you want to do the Kilroy thing, make sure to pay in advance because if you get a uh, VIP <laughs> ticket, they'll let you set up chairs for them. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. If you get a VIP ticket to a Kilroy event, they have you help set the thing up. <laughs> That's your honor of getting Dude, this is this is really pathetic. I mean, this is really, really pathetic. You should crash, Akeem. Dude, it was so weird listening to that four-part series, how they were trying to lock people into three-year contracts, too. Like, what the fuck was that? Well, the yeah, whole they, point was... they went after Tim Pool for that shit. They they really hounded his ass for daring to say that the contracts were fucked up. And he's right. It's bizarre as shit to sign a contract like that to go to a fucking convention nobody's ever been to. Yeah, they couldn't do anything for a hundred mile radius around well, Phoenix. Like you couldn't do any speaking events there for like two years or three years. It, just, it made um, no sense because they like, if they didn't do that, cause that that's what started everything, right? Is the, this contract bullshit. Yeah if, yeah. if there was no stupid contract like that, they might've had an all right event because they had some big speakers going. Well, they were also baiting people. Like they, they'd put somebody's face and name up and say, donate to come see them. But then that person was never booked to show up. Oh, yeah, that's fun. yeah. But there were yeah, they they're doing some there, right? really underhanded shit, and then they they get they tell people we're gonna have you come, uh, so they'd be put up on the site, and then two or three days later, after the fundraising kind of dried up, they'd kick them. Scumbags, fucking scumbags. Yeah, it's a fucking hustle. That's why I'm blown away that they're gonna do it for a second year. Uh, I don't know who the fuck's gonna show up if it's gonna be the same group. I'm so guess mad. I, I was just I was so shocked because when I watched your you know four part series I felt like you know Killjoy was Killroy or whatever the fuck it is was done like it, it wasn't going to happen but it actually did happen. You're looking at the footage now, isn't it a it, great event? It's yeah. insane. Like how many? Who spoke other than Matt? Like uh, uh, Jeff Holiday Wizard, was there. Yeah, Wizard of Cause, Jeff Holiday, uh, Monday and Matt spoke. Romy Millennial was there for like 20 minutes. She, got, <laughs> she was. She Bunty got King. the fuck out. Yeah. Uh, Bunty Bunty King, King yeah. was yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, I, I, God, I, there, I think there were others. <laughs> I don't fucking Those know. Those are the man. main ones, though, right? I, I can't think of any other. Like, Oh, Christina Hoff Summers was there for like 10 minutes and then ran for the door when she saw what she got into, I think. Yeah. yeah. That was the all star cast. Now, originally, I think what? Borsky was supposed to be there. Baked Alaska was supposed uh, to be there. Had, they had a huge list. Yeah, they were going to yeah. have Sargon. Sargon God. was supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, they were going to try to get everybody. You know, like, oh, we're going to get all the anti SDW YouTubers here. And um, yeah, it, it just was weird contracts and baiting people into donating and making up shit. And then, uh, you know, like the other weird stuff about we have um, really left leaning academics coming, but we can't tell anybody who they are because they'll be shot. So we need to spend forty thousand dollars on security. Yeah. Just a bunch of bullshit. Chat mentions that James Alsop was supposed to be there. Uh, oh yeah, they 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 straight up lied to his face. He was like, "Can I do?" They had like a, a sign up list of the yeah. the speaking uh, subject you wanted to talk on. He's like, "Oh, I'll take the um, censorship one." And they're like, "No, we don't have any of that." And he's like, "Well, I'm looking at the list, and there there are a couple of them. No, you can't have that one. We don't want you." Yeah. Well, they also said that they're. So Base Mama I think's on on a stream or some audio admitting that they were just using the YouTubers to like bait an audience and that their real goal was to get, you know, quote unquote academics and, and people to do Yeah, like, isn't that weird, Ralph? Like I've yeah. watched all the Kilroy footage. I didn't see one fucking academic there at all. I didn't you, either. You gotta be careful with that type of shit. Like if you promote event, right, and people buy tickets and you're lying, right? Like you, you can get arrested for that shit. Like it's it's you know, the government takes that shit serious. You know, look at these people that made the fucking, I don't know, it was an event down south. Um, what the fuck was that called? Fire? Fire Festival oh, or whatever? Oh, yeah, with Ja Rule and all them down there. Yeah, yeah they, they just, they just straight up arrested that dude and <laughs> sued him. You know, like, you can't fuck around. That's the whole thing with Tanacon. I don't know if you guys saw the Tanacon sure. stuff, but, yeah. you know, they were really fucking panicking because, like, 
she could have got arrested. I mean, she was going to get sued regardless, but she could have got arrested if she didn't get those refunds out. Yeah, I don't think Base Mama gives a shit. Like, it, and she was taking out like huge bank loans and doing really just stupid stuff, like dumb fucking stupid decisions for an I event you've never hosted. I don't know. When she said she took out a bank loan, I was like, I don't know, man. I think she just wants people to feel guilty for her and go buy a ticket or donate or something. I don't know if she really took out a bank loan. Well, she tried that shit with her kids, uh, like the guilt trip stuff. Like she tried saying that we need security because, look, you can see my kids in this one YouTube video. Like, really, like why are kids there then? Like, what the fuck is that about? Yeah, that's that's pretty strange. Maybe she should put that money towards, you know, daycare. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, who else? Uh, I forgot somebody. Oh yeah, Repsion was there too. That was oh the great! That was he yeah. giving away signed <laughs> socks to the audience uh, for all the fucking. Yeah, that guy is a piece of crap. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Repsion King? Why? Why do you say that? Oh, dude, he's just a little weasel, and he was on some YouTube comment. Um, you know, 2016, like fucking everybody tried to ruin my career. And so, you know, Repsion, you know, being the person with actual no real original opinions, just jumping on the bandwagon like normal. But and by the way, if you're one of these people that just jump on bandwagons, eventually your career dies because, you know, people see through it. And Repsion is one of them. But anyhow, he just started hating on me for no reason uh, during this time. And he was leaving comments on YouTube saying that, you know, my daughter is going to grow up to be a prostitute and all this fucked fucked up shit. Right that I held him to for years until this day. Um, you know, the, that what he said was fucking wrong. Like talking about, you know, a seven year old girl like that, that she's going to be a prostitute when she grows up is fucked. Right. Um, and, uh, recently he reached out to me and made it a, an apology and sent me an apology video that he sent through a third party, someone that I was following on Twitter. And I just thought to myself, I'm like this fucking piece of shit. He wants to say this horrible shit about my kid publicly but then wants to apologize to me privately. Like, what a fucking little coward. He's he's a weird fuck. I, well, I don't like why, him. Why wait four or five years to do it? That's the thing that gets me, right? He had he he actually had some reasoning. He was um at his nephew's birthday party or some shit like that. Like, or his nephew was born or something. He had a his Collecting brother or boulders, sister, right? Yeah. His brother or sister had a kid and he realized, oh, I fucked up. I shouldn't be saying this about little kids. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't watch him. All I, I know about Repsion is uh, wars he liked to shit on him daily uh, when he was doing his uh, his live streams and stuff because he gets <laughs> like five thousand views a day on like a half a million sub account, which is really bizarre. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of sad Matt didn't want to come on. I know. Me too. I was just thinking that too. Honestly, he he would score a lot of points just by coming on, but. Yeah, it's not going to happen, I guess. No, nah, he's not. I mean, he's I, I really wanted him. Odin to give us some life advice after <laughs> that 40 minute inspirational fucking tape and seeing him speak at engagements. <laughs> Odin. <laughs> Odin from irrationalhatred.com. And then one of the one of the clips, he's just like, even though the website's called Irrational Hatred, you know, we we don't really put out we don't really put out hate. I don't, I don't know what you guys think. I don't know why you think that about me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody in the chat somebody in the chat said come on Matt and like as I'm reading it I'm hearing Ralph's voice because I've heard that clip so many times <laughs> come on Matt come on Matt <laughs> I must have heard that clip at least 15 times yeah I think that's my most famous uh Razor, the mat. No, wait a minute. Oh, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, I I really just wanted to come on and just uh, you know have a quick comment here. I'm fucking exhausted. My brain's not even working anymore. But thanks for having me on and yes, just keep you. keep doing the Lord's work over here. This is great. Thank you very much, Kane. Appreciate you coming on. See man. you guys. Yeah, take it easy. All right. All right, Jim. Oh. Uh, well, Ralph, yeah, like I said, I wanted to clear my name. You sent me the invite, and uh, I am not responsible for Monday Mad. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck <laughs> <laughs> that accusation. That's not on me. It's on the record now. You've denied all culpability. 
my I know there's no culpability here. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fucking innocent. You can blame you can blame Kotaku in action and those guys for raising him up if you want to fucking lay it at the feet of somebody. Oh, the, uh, the I pulled I pulled the ripcord on that shit about two months in, so you can't lay that at my fucking feet. That's true. And I, I remember actually I talked to you and you're just like Ralph. I, I don't know if I, you know this was a private conversation, but just like Ralph. Get away from this. That, that's what you straight up told me, and I was like, oh, I don't know, you know, I'll hang around. Uh, I should have took your advice. Uh, I will put it that way. But you were ahead of the curve, so. Oh boy. Well, uh, <laughs> let me let me get let me get a prediction from you guys. And what do you, what do you honestly think is going to happen in let's say the next two weeks? Do you think Matt's ever going to address this, or it, it's just not happening? I'll let Zidane go first, and I'll I'll think about it personally. I I don't. I mean, he's gone this far without addressing it, right? I mean, I just don't... I don't know. What do you think, Zidane? So, I'm 100% sure he's listening right now. 100%. Well, he is. He's probably yeah. listening all night. It's too late. Even if he makes one, it's too late. And I don't... I don't think he's going to. I just don't... It just doesn't make any sense anymore. It, it, it's been... It's going to be a week... Right, like it was last Thursday. It's to, it's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, it's been a week. It's already too fucking late. So the oh, and what's gonna... no? Go ahead. Sorry, I thought. What's you it? Going. What's just saying? I'm sorry. Is is what's it gonna do? He struck all these people's channels. Like he can't take it back. Uh, he took people's channels down. He got he could made them not be able to stream for three months. And there's no fucking sorry anymore. Like just saying I'm sorry isn't enough. Yeah. I... If he was going to do that, he should have done that before Jim's video came out. He should have done that before all he should that should have been the first thing he did. Get the apology out. Um I know he was Well, on it's, it's not even my video, man. I mean like I, no, I'm but, not, yeah, I was about to say they're like they're like the 40 other 3000 videos. Out. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> it's not just you. We watched Toad's video earlier, which was great. There's there's video after video. Cording put out a video. Yellow you know, flashes in a couple. Yeah, yellow uh, flash. There's diver. so many videos. If you search for Monday Matt's name on YouTube, there's like thirty. He's or 40 thirteen. Yeah. yeah, he's thirteen. Down, that's this is the craziest part. He's thirteenth down the list. If you go into like a, a private <laughs> yeah. browser and search on YouTube Monday Matt, you get thirteen videos shitting on him before his channel shows up. It's I don't know. I I just from a you know PR standpoint, you should have got out there and done it immediately and then moved on. Now at this point, I think you're just almost making it worse uh, by doing the the apology. That being said, I mean, there, if you look at his comments, there are a lot of people still calling for it. I don't think it's gonna end. It'll probably subside because you know people get tired of it. But um, without some type of video that you can point to, I don't know that it'll end. But on the other hand, it's you know it's it's not really going to help much now either. So, and by him not coming on stream and he hasn't done the video already, I would bank on him not doing the video. That would be my personal. No one opinion. should even accept an apology anyway. They should tell him to go fuck himself. Well, no, he's got, he's got some fans. Like, uh, I've had yeah. some people show up on the last day, I think, uh, that are subscribed to him. Like, you know, you go check their account, they're subbed to him and they like his videos. And Jim, you don't understand you. You're taking it out of context. Jim, you're, you're you're misinterpreting. That's why I have an idea that that's where that's going to go with him. So so you do you do think he's going to make it? And like you said, you said this uh, the other night. I don't know if it was in chat or on stream that he he is going to make the video, but he and he'll apologize, but then he'll focus on oh these people are are spinning things out of control and they're wrong about this you know minute thing and this minute thing. Oh, and you then, guys, it's just it's just drama. It's just drama. Yeah. Just it's just it, let's walk away from the drama and let's talk about. Movie pass or whatever the fuck, uh, or let's talk about Bethesda. Well, how many tweets have we one. seen about that already? Jeff Holiday and others from the uh, Septic community have said, "Oh, this is just drama," and come on, you know, you're picking on this guy. I mean, that that's already the the talking points that are coming out. So, whereas yeah. if this had been anybody else on the Imagine other side of the spectrum, me or you or or anybody, uh, you know. Whatever that's you know, uh, imagine if fucking them. Christy Winters was on a live yeah. stream and oh, this got sh this got shown and she she showed a report history and there Dude. were a thousand fucking things on there. They'd be making videos for months about Forever. that. And and the whole it's drama thing that argument 
um, only works is if you're, I mean, his whole channel is based off drama. Just think about how he came up talking about, I mean, me too, you know, as far as writing goes, writing about Zoe Quinn, writing about Wu and, and all these people, Anita, and, and the whole thing is built off drama. So for you to sit here and say, oh, it's just drama, you know, why are you why pay attention to this? That's ridiculous. Your whole fucking career is built off that. All their careers are built off that. It just... Well, I, I know he's fucked because if you watch a lot of the videos that are popping up, they're by people that aren't a part of th that area of YouTube at all. They're just like normal yeah. fucking YouTube users, and they're like, yeah, look, take a look at this fucking guy. You know, so that's that's not a good luck. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they're like, holy shit, have you seen what's happening to this asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, how much longer do you think it lasts, though? I mean, we, we've, we've had a lot of fun with it over... I guess this oh, is yeah, the this fourth, is, this is, fourth episode uh, that we've had fun. But. This is like the, the fifth, sixth day. I mean, it's it's going to plateau now, and then the, the sub loss so. will slowly start to stagnate. He'll probably hit like, I'm going to guess, between 149 and 151. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I think his growth after this is fucked, and I think his name is Dirt. And I think anytime anybody has any problems, they're going to be like Monday Matt in it. <laughs> and he's never going to get away from that. <laughs> I, I tend to agree. Um, I, I just don't see it. I don't know. Maybe he can hang around with his, you know, whatever, five, ten thousand views here and there, but uh, I just don't. I don't see. He's gonna have to find a real future. job. Yeah, I, I hear McDonald's is hiring. They're always hiring. Uber. I think I, he's I talking can't. about doing Uber already. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I, <can't, laughs> I, I can't believe he he actually tweeted out in a serious fucking manner that it was about ethics and donating. Like that's that's almost a parody of what people used to make fun of that shit. And he's like, it's about ethics and donating. I'd never, I'd never do a sponsorship if they told me what to say, except but, if it's candid. But isn't it funny that him and you know others that we've seen were all about ethics, all about ethics, and then turns out they're the most unethical motherfuckers around. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, let me just. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna dip. Um, I do want to say I don't. You know, I disavow these two. Odin, please don't strike me down with your fucking <laughs> wrath and boulders and shit. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to Kilroy too. Hopefully, you're gonna have another packed audience of seven people. And uh, you're gonna go, right? <laughs> no, I'm gonna watch Keemstar's stream of it where he's <laughs> where he's got a fucking bullhorn and he's like, "I told you, Matt. I told you, you're fucking done, Matt." <laughs> and he's sitting in the middle of the audience. Do you think they'll even invite him back? Uh... Oh. That's a good question. I mean, well, that was seven people that or seven people that paid to see it. So imagine maybe. falling so low that Kilroy disowned. <laughs> that's uh, that's a sad statement. Anyway, thank you, Jim, for jumping in. I appreciate it, man. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Take it easy, guys. Later.